assume that cost functions of two firms producing the same commodity are given by this. So you are given with the two cost functions. Determine the output level of the firms on the assumption that each equates its marginal cost to a fixed market price. This is easy. Determine their output levels on the assumption that each equates its social marginal cost to the market price. Pause the video. Do both the parts. So when they equate each marginal cost to the market price, what is that? Del C1 by del Q1. What will that be? 4Q1 plus 20 minus 2Q2. This should be equal to the market price. Right? Del C2 by del Q2 is going to be 6Q2 plus 60 equals to 240. Hmm? This is equation 1. This is equation 2. Solving 1 and 2. We get Q1 as 70 and Q2 as 30. Kind of figure this has become Q1 as 70 and Q2 as 30. Okay, what about social costs? So the social cost function is going to be the sum of your two private cost functions, right? Is the sum of the individual cost functions. So let me just write that social cost function is the sum of individual cost functions. So what is going to be your social cost function? Right? What is going to be your social cost function? It is going to be 2Q1 square plus 20Q1 minus 2Q1 Q2 plus 3Q2 square plus 60Q2. Like that. Mm -hmm. Now you differentiate the social cost function with respect to Q1. What will that be? 4Q1 plus 20 minus 2Q2. This should be equal to 240. And del social cost by del Q2. Now Q2 is here. Uh, it is minus 2Q1 plus 6 plus 6 Q2 plus 60 equals to 240. Now this is right. So solving 1 and 2 or 3 and 4. You'll be getting Q1 as 84 and Q2 as 58. Q1 is 84 and Q2 is 58. So this is telling you what? This is telling you these are the social uh, output levels, right? Okay. So the main thing was that social cost function is the sum of the individual cost function, right? Thank you, Vita.